Once again, it's your boy Hercules and Wade. And I noticed in my other spoiler cast, I did not talk about the characters. So this is going to be all about the characters. Starting with, of course, the main lead, Nathan Drake. What can I say? Um, before I go in any further, again, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. All right. Now that we have that out the way, Nathan Drake has really turned, to me, a new page in this franchise. Um, probably the last page she would turn, but it is a new page all together. When we first get control of Nathan Drake, he's on that boat and uh, he's trying to trying to escape from the uh, bad guys, whatever, the other pirates, or Nate Shoreline, I'm sorry. And then we get to the, pro, the actual story where we get into another younger Drake. And from there, we already know what we're getting into. He looks up to his big brother, Sam. That's that's how you got to look at it. Once we get from there, we go to the jail fight. And it's like, again, he's doing this for Sam. Like, Sam is basically saying, hey, brother, this is what we got to do. And Nathan's like, okay, let's do that. And then after that, we get to the freaking the uh, Malaysian job chapter. And this is where we finally get to see Nate settling down and actually enjoying his life. Um, what I really like about the way that they they put Nate in this category is it gave us a different perspective on Nate. It gave us something that he's not always that hero guy that we, we fell in love with, that everyday hero guy. He's actually a normal everyday guy who has a nine to five job, who has a wife, who has a, a beautiful, well, junky house, but still beautiful nonetheless. Um, he is really extraordinary when it comes to doing doing this type of life, which brings me to Elena. Elena, she settled down too. I mean, I remember from the first Uncharted game, Drake Fortune, she was kind of like Nathan, you know, but she she calmed down throughout the games, especially in Uncharted 3 where she and basically got uh, Nathan and Sully into the freaking uh, village or whatever you want to call it. But she, she calmed down a lot and she's just your wife. But the thing I love about the chemistry between Elena and Nathan is that you can actually picture them as a real married couple, couple in real life. Like, if you see them in a store or if you see them out in public, you would say... They're genuine. They're legit. They're genuine. They are Nathan and Elena Drake. And it's like, it's, you can't really go past that. Um, as far as freaking um, Sully goes, I mean, we didn't get a lot of him. But you, and a lot of people complain about that. But it's one thing that you have to understand. Sully, he's getting old. He's getting really old. Even the actor, uh, Richard, I don't know his his full name, but the actor, he's getting old as well. So he can't really do as much as um, Nolan or the actor who plays Elena or Troy Baker. So, you know, the times that they did put him into the game, I enjoyed the time with him. And it was nice pacing. I mean, I, I get it. Everyone loves Sully, Victor, Goddamn Sullivan, but... You gotta understand that he's old, so he can't really do much, which is why he was on the plane uh, most of the time during the game. Which brings me to Samuel Drake. Boy, oh boy. When we first found out that we had this character that was never discussed in the first three or four games, if you count Golden the Bliss, everyone was upset everyone was like how are they gonna do it this is stupid we can't do that but I think Naughty Dog pulled it off and 
I actually became emotionally attached to Sam. Especially during the scene when he came back to Nathan and told his story. And then you actually started playing as Sam. I think from that moment, I was like, wow. In just a few chapters, I know everything I need to know about Sam. <laughs> you know? And then throughout the game, where it's mostly Nathan and Sam, because again, you have to introduce this new character. It was amazing. Like, it was like there was actually brothers, and I felt like I knew them since they left the orphanage. I felt like I knew Edward them, England, and I felt like connected sent. to them. And I think Naughty, Naughty Dog, I got to give praise to Naughty Dog for building that type of emotion and getting me invested into Sam. I mean, you can say what you like. Maybe he was shoehorned in, but the way that they did it, it was like he fit into the franchise. Even though it's probably the last game, maybe, I still feel like he fit into that franchise and he was a perfect part. Troy Baker killed it. I mean, I get it, he's a legendary voice actor just like Nolan North, but he killed it. He was made to play Sam, Nolan was made to play Nathan, and them together, it was just awesome. Like, you you can't deny that. It was awesome. And when we got to the betrayal part, um, when we found out that there was no Akrazar and uh, Rafe helped him get out all along, um, you can actually tell that Sam really did feel guilty. It was legit guilty. And the fact that Nathan left his wife left his life for that matter to go with Drake, I mean to go with Sam and to get this treasure to get the yes. debt off of his back yes, is. that is true brotherly love, I mean think about it, if you if you have a brother who told you hey I owe this guy 200 million dollars hmm. we need to go find this treasure now, what are you knowing doing? that hey I went treasure hunting before I know how to do this I've been to three more cities. I know what I'm doing. You're going to say yes. Now, did he have to lie to Atlanta? Mm, I think that's a plot device. I was needed to push the plot along. Because if he would have said, if he would have said, hey, I know I never told you about my brother, but he's out of jail. He needs my help. I think that the game wouldn't have been as good as it was. So I accept that he did lie. I'm not saying that I condone it, but I accept it and I understand it because 15 years, he didn't tell her about his brother. 15 years. So they met 10 years ago, which, which means that the jail scene happened five years prior to Drake's portion. Five or six years, depending on how you count the years. But I think it was needed to do that to advance the story. I'll be right back. But after the betrayers, betrayal tractor chapter, and uh, we found out who Cassandra Morgan is, and we found out about the Morgan brothers, and that uh, that's how they became the Drake brothers, which has a talk about this it was all Sam's idea Sam made Nathan Drake I mean you you have to you have to believe that and again just like my other spoiler cast or my other video where I said where was Sam all along um, when Sully first met Nathan back in Uncharted 3 in Columbia uh, he said the same thing that the old lady said in Uncharted 4. Yeah. Sully said Drake uh -oh. didn't have any errors. And then Nathan said, that's what history wants you to believe. So in my head, where has Sam been okay? all this time when he was young? I get it, he wasn't there for Drake's fortune, he wasn't there for uh, Mom D's. But where has Sam been when he was young back in Uncharted 3? I mean, I just, well, it's whatever. I have a whole video on that, check it out when you can. But this whole, the whole betrayal thing, and when when Elena found Drake, which was 
coincidental if you ask me, but whatever. It's a game. I will accept that. When he found it and told it the story, people will get upset saying he should have never been accepted back that much, that quickly. But you gotta realize, they're married. Just like the chapter of, the name of the chapter, for better or for worse. Yeah, we'll deal with this later, but right now, we have to get out this thing alive. Together, find your brother, let's get out of here. We can deal with this later. I'm married to you, I love you. This this can put put on hold. We need to get out alive. Get out alive first. And I understood that because as a person who was married before, I can understand that and I can relate to that. That's why I don't understand why some people are upset that Elena took him back so quickly. Uh, they're married. For better or for worse, they have vows. And then, I love the fact that Nate wanted to continue to apologize because he understands what he's what he put her through. And then, as he looks at Sam, he sees Amira from the previous three games. Scorpio. And I yeah, love that. That was like the best moment. And then when all of them came together, Sully, Nate, Sam, and Elena, it was freaking magic. And I loved it. Even though it was for a chapter, I still, I loved it. Every bit of it. And that's just the good guys. When I, ever, I didn't even get to talk about Rafe. Rafe? Oh my god. This is probably the best villain that they had in the game. Uh, definitely better than um, Navarro. Look, fresh he was just a words. lunatic. He must have come uh, be- better than uh, Lazarevich. He was a nutcase. And Marlo uh, and, and Tabu, he they was okay. okay. It was they was okay, but she. It, it kind of made me realize that it was part. It was kind of like the um, what is it from Assassin's Creed. The uh, Templars and Assassins. She was part of this organization that was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So I didn't really like that. But this, this rape in Nadine, oh my god, they was a great connection. A lot of people say that Nadine was unnecessary, but then we would have bad guys just to have bad guys. And I think Nadine is kind of like Eddie from Drake's Fortune but on a much higher scale and a much better level uh, than he was. Plus, she didn't die. And so they needed each other. Like, so he needed her to have an army to find this treasure. She needed him to have money to fund Just her uh, mercenary, or whatever you want to call it. And Damn. they made a great Unclench. freaking couple. Right? Ooh. Oh my god. He was like this slick boy. This, this freaking rich boy who had everything handed to him on a silver platter and all he wanted was just to prove himself and say hey Lena, look, I don't need freaking look, money even though there. he did use money to pay the army to pay his army off he was like I don't need this crap I'm going to do this for me I'm going to make myself famous just like Nathan Drake did at the end of the day we know he didn't do that but boy oh boy the way that they did it and Nate Dean oh my god that could be my life I would never piss her off, but that can be my wife. She was, for a video game character, she was kind of like Laura Croft when we first seen her, hey, just gonna not the blocky, the pointy yeah. kind, but the um, concept art of Laura Croft. Everyone fell in love with her, and that was Nadine. Oh my goodness, she was just a badass, got that motherfucking accent, <sighs> she was on point, and I loved it. I, I loved it. So, yeah. Um, as I always say, I don't care about subscribers. Don't care about likes. If you want to, go ahead. I'm going to keep posting so videos. But I just want to let you know I don't care about on, that stuff. Um, nice romantic lighting. If, uh, you, if you want to leave a comment, <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment. Again, it'll probably be 11 of you guys, maybe 15. Who knows? Uh, it's probably gonna get a lot of views. I just want to put my pen on the internet. So leave a comment. Let's have a debate if you want to. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Herc08, or you can add me on PSN at Herc underscore 08 underscore. Again, it's your boy Hercules08, and I'm out. Peace.